defender. Uh, Lou, the offense seemed so steady throughout the course of the night. You didn't have any of those like, two, three minute stretches um, where you didn't get good looks or didn't create something um, easy for yourselves. What was the key to that against uh, the number one rated defense? Yeah, uh, I would say just the way we moved the ball. I mean, we know we know they're, they're a pretty good, good defensive team and the way that they, they move around. So our, our main thing was just to move the ball and to try to find the best shot that we there was a time when you know you didn't have the shooting percentages from behind the arc that you have now. I just was wondering if you could reflect on um, the way that you're really able to hurt teams and what you, the work you put in over the course of time um, to be kind of a three-point barrage kind of guy. Yeah, I mean, like like you said, it's just the work, it's trusted, it's trying to um, you know, always shoot the ball with confidence, shoot the ball to, 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 to make it all the time. And that's just my, my mindset. And that's, that's what's in my head. And then, should shoot the good ones at the same time. You know, whenever I'm open, the way that we move the ball, you know, credit to my teammates. You know, if the way we move the ball like that, I'm gonna always find some good shots. So I just gotta knock it down. Kind of a follow up on that. Um, went through a little bit of the slump, but seemed to be back on track. What was the key for you to keep your head down and keep keep positive about taking the right shots? Keep trusting it, really. I mean, I kind of know what kind of shot I'm gonna get every game now, so. Just be ready and then and shoot it. Um, it's gonna happen to have some some off nights or some other you man is basketball, but um, you know I'm, I'm gonna just always shoot with confidence. I think you guys forced 24 turnovers tonight. What'd you like about that defensive effort? Uh, it was just we was trusting it, just moving around, moving as a team, um, and the, the communication was big too. I mean, just hearing all the coverages and everything, and the guys on the help side too. So it was huge. Lou, not only are teammates finding you, but they're like celebrating you pretty big after you hit shots. Like, what does that feel like? It feels good. I mean, it's always it's always fun to celebrate on the court. You know, it just brings so much momentum in the crowd, just going at the same time. And uh, it's nice. It's always fun when when we get it going and then the whole team is just turned up. So that was a good one. Lou, you've talked about staying level-headed offensively when shots are falling or not falling. But what about on the defensive end, where it seems like it could probably get a little bit overwhelming whenever you're playing really good defense and shots are falling, but you feel like you're doing everything right. And nah, it's going to happen. I don't really put my head down on those type of stuff just because, you know, there's so many good players in this league now. And, you know, guys, they're they, they, they good for a reason. They're good because they make tough shots. So it's going to happen, but it's going to be hard to make tough shots the whole game. So my main thing is to just make everything tough, but I don't ever put my head down on that. Yeah, Mark said tonight that you've had a really consistent shot diet this whole year. Do you feel similarly about that? Does it feel like anything's changed this year opposed to maybe the last few? My main thing is more my shot selection to really let the game come to me to not force. Um, we got so many offensive weapons on this team, so I'm just trying to be ready and and, and, and really be at the right spot. Um, my main thing is not to force and really let the game come to me, and I know the guy that that move the ball the most, that has the ball the most in their hands, are good at finding guys open. What's it like watching him playing with Kenrich Williams on the defensive end? Uh, it's, it's always good. I mean, he brings so much energy and intensity at the same time. Just knowing that he's out there with me, hearing the coverages, hearing his voice, knowing that you know it's, it's, it's a switch right away. So it's, it's just so much more trust, and um, and he just brings so much energy on the court. I mean, uh, I know you guys can. Definitely see that just the way he runs, the way he talks to us on the court. It's, it's, it's big. Anybody else?